Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Castle Rock. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, we're currently war with the Xinjiang administration, and overall, it's not going too badly for us. We've lost 73 guys versus 89,000, which I think overall is pretty darn decent. At the same time, though, we have a war goal against Ceylon, which we might go to war with them and try to naval invade. We'll see what happens. Um, other than that, uh, these guys are still killing each other. Oh, wow. Common France is doing quite well against Moscow. Union of Britain, of course, and these guys are still on the brink. Vienna is literally a frontline city once again. Oh, hello. In the Union of Brazil has invaded Turkey. Wait, what? Oh, Turkey's in the... Okay. Okay, cool. And we have the Qing uh, government here. And we're going to keep... Continue trying to take out other Chinese states here. We are justifying on Burma now. Oh, also I did I did do some funky stuff here to make sure that these guys actually capitulated. So I divided the territory between, between us and the Kingdom of Siam. Sam took this territory and uh, or gave it to them, and they basically released Burma as a puppet. So see, oh, and there goes Xinjiang. Yay! Now I'm annexing everything, but like we'll talk about it. We got some comms to go through as well. So give us just one moment. I don't mind taking. I would like to attack the Russian state. I think it'd be kind of nice. But at this point, we're focused on China, even though we do have access to these guys too. But whatever. Oh, and there we are. We're at peace. Yay! And of course, we're going to do the place of the Red Raj immediately. Right, so for these 30 divisions, I'm going to place all y'all probably around right there. That would be kind of nice. Um, Ceylon, maybe eventually. For now, Xinjiang. Being independent Xinjiang. Military occupation is the only answer. Well, we'll, we'll talk about this. Uh, I prefer military occupation just for now. We can get more stability in the war support, hopefully. But after waiting, and of course we're doing the place of the Raj. Our red India rises. Uh, it is time to announce to the world that India has been united under a socialist banner, and they will be champions of workers here in abroad. Our people must be united in this common cause, no matter whether they fought for a revolution or against it. The die has been cast. Very cool. Get them that too. And we've got two days left. Four close export three, which will be good, 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 good. Happy 1945, everybody. Ooh. We're going to need some strategic bombers too, so we might as well go ahead and do that. Plenty of manpower. And there we are. Not bad. Supplies. Just trying to build up more supplies, especially up in the north, because China is, well, not known for a lot of supplies. As you can probably imagine. There you go. Make sure what we do have is quite, quite good. Do that. Good, good, good. good, good. And do that too. Thank you very much. So that'll be good. A couple comments, though. Include. Um, let's see. Can you play as a Netherlands or... The Burgundian system, Netherlands, and the New Order. Um, I don't think they have unique content currently, so probably not. Someone uh, suggests that we play as a right KMT, like Yunnan or Guangzhou Clique, perhaps? Yeah, eventually. Someone says, uh, ever try Qing China and the GWR mod? Like, got an updated focus to let you reverse the century of humiliation. That just sounds really good. The, the GWR, or GWRD. GWRD. I'm not exactly sure which mod that is. We can specify, I guess it's been... A, I've been at the time score. I've been like super busy, so I don't know exactly sure what that is. I play as the Republic of China. Please don't an annex everything, says Charles Zhang Wang. Please do not annex everything, says someone else. It makes no sense. At the same time, borders look terrible. And should definitely focus on Asia. Europe is going to deal with the problem itself. Like can liberate East Asia from Japanese imperialism. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Someone suggests if you do a Prince Federation, would you go and join Russia? Uh, so, someone says they've never seen it happen, and is one of the only non-European nations that can join the Moscow Accord. That's kind of cool. Someone says, if you're not going to do another TMN series, can you do a Totalist KMT series or a Nazbal Brezhnev uh, series? A Nazbal Brezhnev series sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not sure which nation I'd play as in what mod, but it sounds like a lot of fun. But the place of the Red Raj in the world. With India be united behind the, the Calcutta government and the provinces of the pretender governments brought in under socialist administration, the cabinet has begun to debate what course we should take internationally. A logical decision would be to seek an alignment with international and thus formally take our rightful place among the great syndicalist nations of the world. Others, however, argue that we ought to make our own block of alliances, a force of socialism with an ori oriental face. Such a course would definitely allow us greater freedom when it comes to spreading this revolution, but might cost us the technological benefit of associating with the great armies of the international. International sword in Asia? Oh, we can join them? Okay. Oh, we created the Indian faction, or Indian alliance. Let's about Indian spent isolation. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, uh, Asia would be painted red. I like that idea, so. That's actually really cool. I didn't know we could actually join the international. Indian alliance. Which doesn't sound really red to me, in all honesty. It doesn't sound quite red enough. Um, yeah. Oh, Rangoon, thank you very much. Hunan? Is that like chicken? 
I do hate the 185 day focus time to wait for all this stuff though, so. Potential, but, oh, potential enemies, I guess. Oh, well, that's a case. Um, where are you guys at? You guys are down there. You guys are over there. Uh, before we go to war with them, let's make sure we set ourselves up for this, something like this, because I do want to take these guys out. If I, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we can't do that, can we? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Don't tell me that we don't have Marines. Oh, we don't have Marines. God dang it. We gotta wait for that? Are you kidding me, bro? Bro. Why? Why? No. But our greatest minds combine. There are many great minds among the Indians and the rest of the subcontinent. We must find the ones who are willing to be loyal to the new government and put them to work in expanding our scientific capabilities, which would be a very, very good thing. Um, we do want to go to war pretty much immediately, though, still. Mm. Co prosperity sphere, of course. Oh. These guys are guaranteed. But I'm not going to war with them. I'm going to go to war with Burma. So let's see what happens. We'll save. Can't imagine we can't do well against these guys. H and D, huh? Very nice. Republic of Burma, let's see what happens. Okay, now they want to go to war with us too. God dang it. Are you kidding me, man? That's dumb. That's really stupid. I did not go to war with these guys. I went to war with their puppet, and they chose to go to war with us. So, I think it's more like a defensive war of the Japanese getting involved, so. Um, if that's the case, let me go ahead and prepare just slightly better. Well, everybody, let's try it one more time. Give it a good old Rambler try, as some might say. It's a chitlang, but we'll see what happens. Now, I would like to go in, but there's no guarantees that we're going to do well. And now, you guys are or actually over here already, which is very nice. Kind of doubt we could push into Vietnam that successfully, but you never know. Um, they don't immediately start attacking us. Oh, never mind, they do. Nice. Over here, though, I just really care about taking these guys out, even though we're kind of struggling with this as well. We'll see. We can only move so fast, so little. So, let's see what we can do. As long as they want to attack us like crazy, so be it. Also, uh, yeah, the Russian state is actually at war with these guys too, so... Yeah. We'll take out Nepal. We buy, basically might as well. At this point, it's guaranteed. We are, like I said, just fine on Hunan, and we are at the 100 days, which is pretty good overall. Pretty good. Pretty decent, I'd say. And the horses are going to do the best they possibly can. Oh, they're ambushers. Which is not bad. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. We lost quite a few guys here, didn't we? Oh, and they're attacking us too, huh? Ah, uh, I should have got some uh, other things here too. I was going to try to naval invade Ceylon, but you know what? They're already at war with us, so. We'll see what happens. Yeah, there's no way they're going to be able to land successfully and actually stay there. Especially as our subs are probably going to get destroyed, but at the same time. Probably do a good job raiding convoys and stuff. Oh yeah. I guess technically we we're probably like some of the only groups they can't they can't find some all of our subs. I'd say that's pretty successful. Maybe I want to make a couple more subs because these subs are pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. Let me make some more dockyards. Yeah, no, they're not gonna be that successful if they try to navy invade. We have a, a spare army down here anyway, so. Hello, mountaineers. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. There you go. Ah, hello. He'll be fine doing like that. Oh, those dead Japanese soldiers. What a shame. Alright, so at this point, um, we're going to tell you guys to stop. Overall, we'll probably just go and stop in general. And hold the line at the very least. That'd be very, very decent for us. And we'll go to war with those guys. We'll let them attack us like crazy. We lost a couple convoys here and there. So let's not... Uh, have convoys go through here, probably. Subs, hope are learning a lot. We can see I'm an expert. I put Lone Wolf. Maybe Lone Wolf more, maybe, perhaps. We'll see. Um, you guys go right there, too. You'll be fine when you go to war with those folks. And over here, there's not a whole lot we can do. However, we can, of course, concentrate our forces right here. Nice. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Nice. And we do a nuke, so, yay. Could use more a little more aluminum, though. Uh, I don't want to send convoys out. Greece? Sure, why not? Right, let them attack us. What are the casualties like so far? Um, but, wow, they got quite a few Russian. We got 177,000 already? Holy smokes. Yeah, guys. It's all good. Lost another sub. Lost another sub, Reno. It's about right. Not bad. Um, I'm going to actually send half of you guys. Right, I guess you guys. Half of you guys. Go here. I'll spread out. Because um, you guys can just kind of do this. But, like, just kind of 
gonna hang out. Ooh, that's not good. I'm not sure why we're sending out convoys. Yeah, why are we sending out convoys? It makes no sense. Anyways. Um rocket stuff? What do we need to research? I forget as well. And they're attacking us like crazy, which is pretty nice actually. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean there's no way we can push through here, so I'll let them kinda kill themselves on the line. We might be able to do well here too. Oh we need to we should probably get some naval bombers. I forgot about that, but yeah, okay. War propaganda would be very nice. Now we can go to war economy. Yay! We actually use more factories here. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty nice. Pretty decent. They have quite a few planes as well, but hopefully we can tie down more of their planes. Um, mm -hmm, there you go as well. I want to duplicate you, though, because we can use more guys down there. Oh, it's really laggy now. Holy crap. It's very laggy. Here, you guys come up here. Yeah, I'll put three there. That's fine. Cool. Hey, more combo sunk. Nice. Uh, horses? Well, we're only using horses, so we're not going to really... As much as I like this one, we're not having motorized or mechanized. I don't mind getting blitz and circumvent tactics, but still. Oh, also, since we're here... Oh, we didn't do any of this stuff yet. Oh, crap. Now, what do we want? Theater training. Uh, starting their cost, defense, attack, planning, logistics. Uh, trickster. Commando. Uh, defense. Ah, that's good terrain, why not? We'll be in the train a lot. Off to the core. More daily command power wouldn't be bad. We don't need the land auction bonus, so... We do have cavalry, though. More attack would be kind of nice. Weekly man power. Oh, we'll be kind of okay with that. Uh, pair dropper. Actually, what's that? Mountaineer design cost. Uh, quick improvisation. Uh, entrenchment speed. Uh, do we need more entrenchment speed, though? I'm thinking we could probably... Uh, that's not bad. I'll go proper heritage. Why not? Flexible organization. Division speed's pretty good. Static warfare. Gives us way more entrenchment. Recon. I kind of want to go aggressive reconnaissance. I'll try that one out, maybe. We'll plan attack if it's a preferred tactic. Mm. What is that one? Frustration assault, huh? Cool. Very nice. And there goes Iraq. Taken out by Saudi Arabia, I think. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, thanks, Russian state. Thank you. We appreciate it. Another sub, because we've lost probably quite a few of these guys. Well, you should be learning way more than what you're currently learning, so. Convoy's nice. Yeah, Japanese. And their allies, don't get me wrong, it's not just J Japanese, but. A lot of it's just Japanese. Vietnam, holy crap, bros. My Vietnam brothers. They have a lot of manpower, though. Uh, do they have unique focus tree in Kazarek? No, they don't, huh? Okay, that's one of the few nations that doesn't have unique focus tree yet. Come on, let's go bye bye, which I like, 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 like. And make sure that we got enough on air as well, just because. Especially if you want to use nukes, you gotta have enough air power. So. Can you make more nuclear reactors? I love the nuclear reactors. Oh, we can't even see the air stuff. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Horse priority, yes, please. More horse boys. We love the horse boys. All right, nine is going to be pretty extreme to take out. Over here, it's a lot more possible. Nice. Uh, yeah, these guys are pretty spread out pretty thinly, so we'll see. Just in one division down. Oh, they're attacking us too. Look at that. Do I should take... Oh, do I should take the tile. Not bad. Landing craft. Just in case. Maybe even better landing craft. Not bad. Logistics 5. Signals. Sure, why not? Experimental rockets. I forgot about it. Naval bombers.
Yeah, that's way too many divisions. We can't really do much about that right there. Uh, keep pumping up more subs if possible as well. Three's not bad. Need more supply there. Ooh, that's going to really help out a lot more as well. Uh, this is research like normal. That'll be fine. Cool. Military police. It's almost 46. You might as well. Oh, we go to one of these guys too. Having two wars at the same time? Might be a bit crazy. Oh, Southern India's getting invaded. Oh, would you look at that? We've already decided to cover most of the tiles, anyways. And even if they do land, it won't matter too much, probably. So now you guys come on over here, let them land, and kill them off. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, look at all those convoys that they have. Nice. Oh, 21 have already been sunk. Oh, my goodness. Homing torpedoes. I love homing to Homing? Homing torpedoes. Oh, so nice. So, so nice. Can you guys seriously not do anything here? Do you guys not have that many planes on you? Alright. Well, you're going to win up there. You're going to win over here, hopefully. You're going to win down here, too. Do the best y'all can. Ooh. Oh, wow. 23 convoys are sunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. They could sink the carriers because their organization is dropping, too. That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. So we got some... Uh, ooh, ooh, we're going to need more planes. Ooh. Shot that one. That'll be good. We got some strap bombers. Um, uh, mechanize. We don't have one. It's fine for now. Gotta grab some more aluminum. Oh, yes. Got more detection efficiency organization and sub HP, which would be very delicious. Ah, uh, subs can be so strong. Hello, good sir. You're gonna die. As you rightfully should. Losses with the Japanese. We've lost 33,000. We've killed off only 580,000. Which I hope they're taking away res resources from other like fronts. So. Mm. Got plenty of manpower, of course. Plenty of divisions, plenty of that stuff. Plenty of ships. 380. That's a bit much. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Oh, I can't convert them. Darn it. It's alright. Mm, there you go. Should be fine doing that too. Two more convoys are gone. Very, very nice. Good, 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 good. Actually, at this point, I just want you guys to drop the deploy right there too. That'd be fine. Actually, what do you have on this rifle too? Oh, there are 27 convoys still. Okay, wow. Well. Alright, whatever. That's pretty decent. Yeah, that's kind of worthless for us right now, but whatever. Mountaineers, thank you. Actually, you go here too. I might just replace, like, some of these guys with more infantry, so. Let's see. Three, two, one. Let's see if we can do anything else here. Force it. We'll see. And you guys, did you really stop attacking? What? No. You're not allowed to stop attacking, son. Go down here. One plus one plus one is three. Seven divisions is quite a bit. Um. Where are these horses? These are garrisons right here. If you want some military police, it'll be fine, probably. Uh, yeah, you're only 18 convoys. I might actually make you guys 40. I think 40 is a good number, even though that we ruins supply quite a bit. I think 40 is still. Or is it 41? I can't remember the exact number. Oh, crap. I can't remember the exact number for division combat with. Oh, 27 is really good. 
The A team is pretty decent as well. Cool, not bad. And you guys are doing relatively decently over here. Oh, there you go. Get rid of the supply issues. That's that's actually quite a bit better. Nice. Okay, actually, that's it, huh? We killed a division. Nice. Honestly, I didn't expect us to go to war with Japan. I really didn't want to, but do like. up there and you'll do great. Actually, that dude went in right... Oh, yeah, maybe not. Oh, now they attack us too. Well, I mean, there's 11 there. What do you expect? We'll do fine down there. It'll be fine. Can you actually win there? Oh, do we lose these? No, whatever. It's lost a lot of sub daddies. Keep thinking them. We can't win quite there. Can't quite win here too. I mean, it makes sense. Mountains, rivers, stuff like that. So, what the heck? How did you lose here? Uh, oh, expert delegate. Okay, that's fine. That's okay with us. Yep, time to move in here too. Nice. These guys are almost done. It's awesome. Force it. There we go. These guys will all die if they don't surrender. Nice. Oh, actually, well, we won there for now. Now we've opened this one up, which is actually really nice. And then, get some more of that because you can. There we go. Hunan on, Kalik, thank you very much. You guys are hanging out, just stay over there too. You guys are hanging out, having a good old time. Let's see what you can do about that. So we're going to annex them, but I do want to release China as a puppet, so we'll see. We will definitely, definitely, definitely see. Quite a bit. And supply issues. We'll probably have a couple more. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Last couple more subs here and there. It is what it is. It's a very good way of sinking enemy convoys and just manpower and stuff like that, so. Not bad. Pretty good. Now, oh, of course, they're fighting the mountains as well, but still, we got railway guns going. These guys do not look strong at all. What's wrong with these guys? Cool. More air stuff. Nice. Um, could use more millies too. Well, he's skill level 5, which is good. He's becoming a sea wolf. Superior tactician, a fly swatter, an iron side, and blue water expert. So overall, pretty good. And they can't even invade us, so. And that's the most important part. Oh, they're actually attacking us here, too, huh? Cool. Sounds good to me. Sounds very good to me, actually. Oh, they want to attack us here, too? Okay, let's go in. You guys are still up there, which is fine. I do want to take on Mongolia, if possible. No guarantees, of course, with this battleship. We don't have any battleships right now. Snorkels, stuff like that. Uh, planes, planes. Uh, I'll put it over here. No, pretty much almost done with all that part of the tree, so that's fine. Let's go and grab some more war propaganda because we can. And. Do 
Do you understand? Why can we not go to total mobilization more than... Oh, we know we're worst part. Okay, that makes more sense then. Worst boys, yes, very good, very good. No, you're going to win here whether you like it or not. Naval bomber one, good. Good. We honestly only need like one of these, so there you go. Good, good, good. And we run out of things to build. Well, we will we'll never run out of things to build, so we'll do that. And do that too. How many grenades we got? Yeah, you're not you're not done. Let's see, seven to eight. We have oh, 85 more days. So I'm going to do a little more of this. Ah, uh, yes. Another Chinese area we have to take out. But at the same time, let's begin with a little bit of a nuke. Something to make us feel really good. Only really five nukes, huh? We definitely could use more. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. definitely. But let's, let's launch the one. For now. And before we make nuclear Vietnam. These guys. Ah, yes. Very good. Go on in, guys. Go on in. Do, do what you all can. And actually, our subs are doing great now. The atomic bomb of Guangzhou. We're actually the first ones to nuke in this campaign. Look at that. The atomic era has truly begun. Good job, Gandhi. Good job. Why is it so low? Oh, enemy bombings. Focus on defense. Defensive war. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Lots of couple plans here and there, but hopefully we can take these guys out pretty easily. Um, that's a hope, at least. So we can do really, really well. And uh, let's really focus on these guys down here. Because the Japanese, it's just been going crazy against us. One and a half million have died already. Uh, wow. That's why they're killing each other. But, hopefully we can do okay. Actually, since we're here... Thank you. Rocket engines, not bad. We got some gas turbines. Okay, interesting, interesting. Anything else there? No? No, oh, actually, naval bombers. Yeah, that'd be good. Ooh, we lost an advanced sub. That sucks. Whatever. Alright. Come up just a wee bit higher. A wee bit though, just a wee bit. 37 subs ain't bad, really ain't bad, but we're doing the best we can. Also, I did tab over, I didn't actually tab over, I looked over here. The Japanese, they have an okay amount of convoys, but at the same time, they are starting to run out of guns, which is a little concerning for them. And they're running out of artillery too, look at that. They have less artillery than guns, huh? All right, not bad, not bad at all. Cavalry, yes, yes, uh, there you go. I don't really want to attack the cavalry, that'd be kind of suicidal. and we're not suicidal today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. I would like to just have like one front line against all these guys, but we'll see. Also, we don't need that anymore. You guys can do this, probably. There we go. Nice. 16, not bad. That'll be good. Uh, just all these convoys. We're really maxing out on trade interdiction. Even then, like, we're doing really well with these guys. It's really awesome. How are we doing? We lost a couple planes here. That's fine. Whatever. Um. Oh, we one in the capital. Nice. Are we attacking? Oh god, that's a really bad idea. And actually, we'll, do, we'll just do a front line assault here. I mean, we'll just go assault them as best we possibly can. How do this group? Are we just finding anybody? We better be. No, we're not. Well, the ball's next. I hate how long it takes. Oh, why do we choose Gandhi? It takes so long for him to go to war with the people. Why is Hong Kong the capital? What the heck? Oh boy. If we can, please. Oh, we lost there. That's not good. Um, where are you guys all? Yeah, come over here. We need a little bit of extra muscle right now down there. As I do want to throw on more subs, but it just takes so long to make them. Oh, the game's just really slow. Which makes sense, but still. Anything? Use casts. Upgrade them for now. We are completely out of aluminum once again, which sucks. So that tells me we should probably keep making some more civvies so we can trade them away. Hopefully Russia does not fall too far. Moscow, I think, has already fallen. Yep, they ha it has. Which is really concerning, actually. Quite concerning, but we'll let's see what we can do. Cut them off again. That's good. Got some passive defense. Nice, nice, nice. On infantry threes. Good. Help them out a little bit more with that, and then here, do that area. 
do go for Siam as well. They want to try to find us. Well, you'll never know where we're going to appear next. You guys are ahead. Yeah, you guys are getting pretty close down here too. That's actually really good. Oh, my cow's completely open. Nice. And we put some subs here. Oh, boy. We start sinking some serious amount of convoys. Now, that's nice. That's very nice. So, anything... They're all going to be trapped around here, then. All the soldiers are going to start to get really weakened. Be awesome. Go in. Oh, wait, what? Why are you all going... To oh, something like that, please. Nice. Cool. And your horses, so... Actually, we'll go right there. We'll be fine. Actually, I still have you guys, too. Um, honestly? There are three guys right there. there you go. Come back over here. Do that. We won't look super strong, but that's okay. Get ready for Nepal. You'll be fine. 49 is already pretty good already, so. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We lost another sub, but whatever. Oh, that was really good to do. Nice. Very good. Now we can throw you guys over there, too. Um, Here. Go here first. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. And they'll have one big old front against these guys, so. So you go back, actually. Guangzhou would be very, very nice. Seven nukes, not enough. 35, I lost another sub, god dang it. Keep making more of them. I'll come back down here and try to kill these guys off too. Where are you guys at? Spread out this way. Please not let them in. Before we're really ready to kill them off. And what else? Uh, Brack shooting's okay. Sub. Eh, I can probably get some conversion stuff, that'd be fine. We can use more fuel though. Don't want to forget about that. We are using quite a bit of fuel up, so. Rather that we afford our own fuel, so. Any partisan. How are you guys able to hold out? You should have, like, nothing here left. I mean, they got plenty of manpower, don't get me wrong. But, at the same time, you should really have nothing. Nice. Is that a core piece of territory? I guess it is. I guess that makes sense. That it would be. Oh, boy. Um, do we need to conquer, or... Trade for more aluminum. We're out of. We're all done trading. So, hmm. Cool. Oh, we're moving in there too. Nice. How's this looking? Not bad. Hey, look at that. We actually took a battleship. It was improved heavy hull too. Not bad. more subs in there too. Hong Kong has been cut off, which is great. Take them out. Hopefully we can end the war. At least this part of the war. Are we missing something? Oh, we're out of guns. Oh, that's not good. Crap. Fall of Hong Kong. Well, honestly, I think we'll take it all, just because I don't think these guys deserve it, so. And get some Ramillies. One mammoth front down here. Should be good. Uh, make sure that you guys are actually down there too. Which is great, 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 great. Hopefully there's a couple of subs. We have only 36 now. That's actually better than it was earlier. But I'm hoping... Oh yeah, the Vietnamese are just not doing very well at all. The Japanese though. That, we're just going to starve them out as best we possibly can. So... Oh, hello. And they're still attacking. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love it. We got a lot of PP too. Too much PP. Oh, the fate of China. Oh, after a long and hard-fought campaign of the vast expanses of China, we finally achieved a historic victory. Now that we won the war, we must decide how to best secure the peace. 
I should go about managing the Chinese lands we've conquered. Come in India. Oh. That's fine, we do that one after. Cool. Alright, Empower the Left KMT. If someone did say military occupation only is really bad, Empower the Left KMT. We're gonna get a buddy. Nice. Now we're gonna lose, lose quite a few factories, which will suck quite a bit, but whatever. Um, nice. Now that's what I want. I'm, I'm glad that there's something like that in uh, that the devs have put in the game, which I think is awesome. We lost so many factories, though. That's not good. Armor trains, we cut down weight on those, so that's fine. We need more resources. Hopefully China can give us a bunch of the resources. Danish People's Republic. Huh. Prepare for war. We have received alarming word from the Republic of China that Mongolian troops are currently massing, and that a great deal of reconnaissance is taking place across the Chinese border. Military officials say it's clear that Mongolia is planning an invasion of the Republic of China, one that could begin any time in the next several weeks. We must get ready. Oh, boy. Oh, why do we still own this, then? Well, we'll give it back probably later on. We'll close economy. That should off us off slightly. Oh, we lost all that steel. God dang it. Give me, bro. Okay. Uh, that's better. Get slightly less from them, and then... Work on, like, these two roads, so that'd be good. China has nothing. Wing Ji Wang. Min Cheng, huh? Whoa. Oh, crap. Now we're up there, too. Come on, man. Well, it is what it is. I only wanted to do the, make this the last episode, but probably not going to be the last episode. Probably one more after this, so... Bro, you might be able to win still. Okay, maybe not. Alright, so we got all down here. Getting ready. We have one gigantic push. They're very not good air, but that's okay. Second son of Japanese war. It's gonna happen eventually, so. Oh crap. The Bar two government has been discussing what to do with the Chinese lands currently occupy, land which you no right to claim to. So yeah, they got all this territory, which is which is fine. I mean, that's fine. They deserve that one up there, so. Republic of China, but we get Tibet, which doesn't make it look good at all, does it? What guys? You pieces of garbage! You should have kept this territory! Oh, we don't have spare reserves for this. You ding dongs. Oh my goodness. How stupid are you? We're gonna push in then. Screw it. Go in. Massive assault. Hopefully we can do well here. Are you kidding me, bro? We're not ready for that. Honestly, releasing China right now is probably a bad idea. But you actually still might be able to do okay. We can do this. We might as well. You should be able to win there, but we'll see. You're just going to get surrounded anyway, so let's not do that. Hopefully we can do well here. And they're going to need a lot more supplies where they're headed. Since these guys are gone, we'll go to finish off Mongolia, finish these guys off, take out the Qing Chinese government, hopefully as well. Yeah, this is really bad. Do not let them move through there, you ding-dongs. Urga. Urga. Not bad overall, though. Oh, we're not done Vietnam or these areas or anything like this yet. Oh, we get all that extra rubber, though. We'll go down here, though. That's actually really good. We were defeated, but whatever. Keep going, keep going. Oh, any more command power, probably. He needs to be upgraded more. Six. Hmm, let's go well planned attack with this guy. Seven. Let them kill each other off. We're going to be losing a lot of guns, too, so. Uh, we got 11,000, though. Tons of artillery. How many men have we lost? 
Oh, not that many, actually. So I am about 200,000 against us. Burma's about to die again, which is good. Uh, okay, they, they just died, which is great. Oh, look at that. Oh, all uncircled. And don't get me wrong, these guys aren't that strong to fight against, but still. Nice. 90% war support. Very, very good. Total mobilization, where are we at for now? Um, 2.5%. We can raise it up to extensive first, and then go up to total mobilization. That's fine. Get slightly more fuel and stuff like that. Oh, crap. Come on. Who else? Oh, okay. Just Japan. That's fine. Whatever. No one cares. I'm already at war with Japan, so I'm not sure how going to war with them again would make it any much more of a difference, but whatever. The Chinese are killing each other. The Japanese are killing the Chinese. The Chinese are killing the Indians, sort of. The Mongolians are killing the Jap or the Chinese Indians. It's kind of a mess here. It's kind of one heck of a wicked mess. There you go. See what you can do. See what you can do. We want to take out the capital, man. I mean, like, we were technically we were at war with them, so that's not really a big issue. Vietnam. Half a million have died. That's not enough. Anything else here? Not yet. I get passive defense. Hugh, Huawei. Hugh. Huh. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. <clears throat> well, those guys are almost dead, which is good to see. Nice. Naval Bomber 3 is very good. Jet Fighter is not bad, too. Very nice. Since we're over here anyways... I mean, while we don't have a lot of fuel... So it would be quite beneficial if we were to do this. Nice. Keep going in. You're doing great. Let those horses go. Actually, we'll need more of you guys here too anyway, so. Um, there you go too. Rambunctious horses. Well, Bangkok, good. Oh, we get all the way down to Singapore, that'd be awesome. Uh, so fire mains, do that one too, because you can. Research. Very good. Uh oh. What, what are you doing? You ding dongs, why are you getting in the water to die? I mean, don't get me wrong, we got the manpower and probably hopefully enough equipment to deal with it, but still. And with these guys still here, like, they're going to be raiding the convoys all the time, which... we oh, actually sunk a cruiser. Nice. Oh, good. Well, so we got the capital over there, but the other one we didn't get quite yet, so... Alright. Oh, what the heck? Why the heck did you land here? Well, I mean, it's not bad, but still. Four convoys. God dang it. You lousy doo-doo heads. Vietnam looking pretty open. Hopefully we can bait Ceylon as well, since we did get the research done for that one, too. Training time goes up, that's fine with us. All those resources down here. Probably need some of that. Keep building, keep building, keep building, keep building. Ooh. Why are we using convoys down here? I don't understand. What the heck is going on with this group? Don't go in the water, you ding-dongs. I don't like this. The access route needs to be changed because I don't want... I can put fleets in here, but it doesn't mean I want trade routes in here. The, I think that oh, something else will be really good is to separate these like access level for fleets. Access level for fleets are not going to be the same for trade routes. You can make it maybe for the, both the same exact thing, but I think that should be changed up. I really think that should be changed up quite a bit. Cool. Whee! You'll be fine. Keep heading on down there. That'll be great. We got a lot of rubber now. Oh, the Philippine Navy. 
Fall of Wuhan. Nice. Cool. Really got a lot of interesting things down there. Well, we're going to do this anyways. Whatever. There you go. Good luck. Do the best you can. How's Russia holding out? Oh, they're not. You can't really do much over here, though. Which is fine, but still. Oh, is that it? Where's the capital? No. 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 Oh, it goes Vietnam. Nice. That's good. Yep, it's actually really good. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Sink everything they got. You actually don't see it. That's good. That'd be better. I wish I just find you guys. My goodness, it takes so long. So long. Um. Rocket artillery, I guess. Wow. All those convoys sunk. I love it. Nice. All the way down to Singapore. We got Singapore, too. Holy crap. Nice. They're desperately trying to get in. And they're dying in the water the entire time. Oh, it's like a cruiser. Look at that. Nice. Why are you in the water, son? If that's the case, send y'all right here. <clears throat> I don't want to see you guys up here too much just because if I suck. But I don't mind doing this. Fine. Yeah, you guys actually go over there. No, there's no land bridge over there, which is fine. Whatever. Nice, more convoy sunk. How many have we killed off? Alright, so down here, 7,000, 2.68,000. We've lost how many to Mongolia? Probably too many. Uh, oh, quite a few actually. We got over almost 3 million Japanese ourselves. That is just so awesome. All right, y'all up here? Almost. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Force it. You guys should have more than enough units up here to manage everything up that's going on up here. Even though my goodness, do supplies suck. Finding land war in Asia? Never a good idea. Especially when there are so many guys over here, too. I, mean, I don't understand why. So you might as well just go to war with uh, these guys too. I think it's South East. I'm just probably, probably, probably go to war with them as well. So if you guys finish up, that'd be good. Hey, we got him. Nice. Cool. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, floating harbor. Sure, why not? We need more steel. God dang it. We need more steel. There we go. Now you guys can all come over here. Because that there's just supplies so bad up there, I'm not going to deal with that. So you guys will be, actually, technically, y'all come to Nepal first. I, at this point, I'm just going to use Khan's commands to declare war on people. I don't want to wait any longer. It doesn't make any sense why we would. Yeah, gun's supposed to be a pacifist or whatever, but, you know. Not on my timelines. Iron sides, what the heck? Alrighty. Okay. Well, whatever. Ooh. Can y'all like do something here? What? I know supplies are not supposed to be good, but it's so annoying. Cool. 
Oh, so not bad. And we got two more rail, rail guns. Cool. And yeah, not bad. I think we'll probably go to war with Nepal, take them out. I'll probably go to war with these guys too, take them out. Ching China as well. And then probably finish these guys in the next episode. So we'll probably leave it right on there. Oh, so I am in Cambodia. Um, what are we going to do with these guys? We're taking over the tight state and secured a dominance on the upper part of the Middle East Peninsula. Oh no, the pressing issue for the government is figuring out what did you do to the new liberated top provinces. I know I shouldn't annex everything, but it's going to be split between us and China. I just want to, I could make a more republic, but I, I want to keep the resources. I really want to just keep the resources. We need them. Oh, yeah, we don't want more from them. And more steel as well. So we're going to military occupation. Armies taking control of Phan Phen and the local Cambodians. We were clamoring for self-government. We should debate what to be done with them. If I could, I just have like one giant southeastern Asian state, but I guess not for this campaign. Ooh, more stability though. More stability would be great. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll finish off fighting over here with our Indian alliance in the Far East. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.